Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're here in Argentum. But we're not going to be staying for very long. I really do wish I could join the party here. Don't these folks look like they're just having a grand old time? And Tora's getting into the groove there. But yeah. Looks kind of nice. But yeah, we're not going to be staying for very long. There is something I wanted to check out. If we take a look really quickly at Ursula's chart. It says, use musical instruments to get this up. I'm not sure exactly how it's important to get this up, but you know, beyond the simple fact that you want to complete as many Blades Affinity Charts as possible because, you know, you get nice rewards for doing that. And there are two musical instruments in particular that Ursula has actually told us that she likes in a heart-to-heart -heart way back in Uriya. She mentioned that she really likes the Torgonda and the Pipe Organ. You can get the Torgonda in Torgoth and you can get the Pipe Organ in Moradane. And Moradane happens to be a destination of ours in this particular episode because there's a bit of mining for Agate's side quest that we can do there. So, let's take a quick side trip to Torgoth and purchase a Torgonda and then proceed on to Moradane. journeys make Tora tired. What will we find? So, there we go. Soniaris music. So she said she liked the Torgata. And the pipe organ that's available off in Mardane. Let's see. I'm not sure exactly where that is, the music store here, but it's got to be somewhere close to Kadeg Gate here. Because this is the shopping district. Let's rest the spell. Let's uh, get going. Sandstorm conditions. I really don't like sandstorm conditions. There's the. Art shop. Aha, there's the music shop. Adleno Music. Let's see, pipe trumpet, steamwork organ, I think that's the one I want. Army issue violin, hammer plate snare, tube xylophone. Hmm. Yeah, I believe I want the steamwork organ. I think. Now, I could be misremembering, but I think this is what Ursula said she likes. And what have we got in the pouch? Okay, sparkle sugar's almost up. We won't lose too much. The timbre is gorgeous. Mind if I try it out now? Okay, I was right about that one. What a splendid instrument! Shall I sing you something? Okay. So that should satisfy her affinity chart. Yeah, there we go. Harmony level 2 and level 3, it should be. Even though it didn't say that one. La 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 la. 
Okay, I was wrong. Oh, I see. It's not cumulative. I used one instrument to get here, and now I have to use two more to get here. Ha. Huh. Well, fine. That feels like a bait and switch. I wonder, is it any instruments or just the two that she likes? Let's find out. Okay. No, oh, I need to go to the pouch. Okay, so if I then go to Ursula's affinity chart, will it say one out of two? Yes, okay. So it doesn't care what musical instruments. Just any old instruments. All right then. I wonder, do I have any other instruments in stock? I do not. All right. Well, I'll just have to buy another one. Uh, well, she likes this one, so fine. I'll splurge a little bit. Darn it, I keep forgetting. I don't go to her. I go to the driver. And the pouch. The timbre is gorgeous. Mind if I try it out now? Wrong affinity chart. There we go. La, 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 la. Okay, I've been neglecting her side quest with those weird merc missions. For tr where she trains her voice and whatnot. But maybe that will have something to do with it. Defeat a Jenny Pagul in Lithuania. Hmm. I'm not even sure where those are. Maybe after I finish here in more Ordain, I'll just go find one and beat it up. Let's see here. So if I do a quick search... There we go. Okay. Jenny Pagul. Let's see. Between the Oral Cloudway Rejet and the Oral Cloudway Fonset, near Fonset Village. Also says Praxis needs five of these things as well. Yeah, look at that. She does indeed. Only she has zero, and Ursula already has four. Hmm. Maybe I should bring them out together after I finish here in more Ardain. But that's for later, perhaps. Okay, I really don't like sandstorm conditions because that causes urchons to come out.
I think the most important military innovation Moradin has produced to date is the steam rifle. Apparently they were inspired by, and to an extent based upon, certain long-range weapons used by blades. But whatever their origins, they allow almost anyone to hold their own in combat, even if they're not a driver. The ability to attack from a distance is hugely helpful too. It helps us avoid the risk of getting too close to monsters. The steam rifle, huh? Yep, there's... an urchon right there. And another one dead ahead. Yeah. Urchons are such annoying monsters. Someone in my party wants us to defeat some fab some fabled Bufus. I think it's Dromark. Yeah, he wants us to defeat four, and we've already done three of them. Eat that! All right. Let's keep our heads in the game! Make haste and retreat! Yeah! Decisive blow! Play of punishment! All right, there we go. An iron headband. A legendary version. Okay, so that worked out better than I expected. Got something good for Dromark there. Good old Dromi. The next battle should be a good one. Okay then. Oh, he also wants to go to Letheria. And let's just use the power. And this one is in Tantal, okay. And how close is he getting level five? Really close, oh boy. So far, so good. All right, so our goal is off this way, I believe. I don't remember exactly how to get to where I want to go, though. Is it down there? Oh, yeah, it's down there. I knew it was off in sort of this direction, so to speak, but I came too high up. This is where I want to go. So this takes me to a rather unusual area. It's a completely optional side area. The forest really comes out of the environment. takes us to a completely optional side area that features in some rather, I want to say, obscure side content. The forest really comes out of the environment. It's stuff that we've kind of touched on a little wow, bit. Wow! world has many amazing places in it! Perhaps rest and enjoy view for a bit? Maybe agriculture's poppy specialist feel. Okay, so we've got a, the Brianac. 
uh, occupied zone. And they look like Ardanian soldiers, but they're not. They're actually rebels. And it's a really high level area, as you can see. Let's see if I can thread the needle here. That worked. Are so good. Do I have agate in my park? Oh, poop. Darn it. No way, you things. Thank you. Anyway, do I have agate in my party? Do not. Okay, let's fix that. I hope I'll live up to your expectations. There we go. I get some money. There's definitely something here. I'm sure of it. Bugs. Okay, no ore here. It goes nuts. And it's one of these things. A level 30 scorpion. Nothing for us to worry about. Especially in this level 60 area. Okay, so if we... Just get on out of here. Let's go back to the shopping district. We're here. Let's get going. So now on Agate's affinity chart, we've mined in five out of eight areas. And hmm. Yeah, I think I'm actually up to date, so to speak. That's everywhere I can mine with level one prospecting. Yeah. All right. So I need two more chunks of ore. And I need to, to I need two more chunks of ore to improve this skill and I need to mine in three more areas so far so good I actually meant to switch out agate for someone else Yeah, let's go with Rock. Pleased to meet you. And how's that Merc mission coming now that I'm thinking about it? I'm pleased to have been of help. Poppy, initiate rest mode. Uh, they probably came back a long time ago and I completely forgot. Set your expectations high. Right, so Looks like we're doing okay. Alright, looks like there's nothing new in Mordain. But Raya. 
Oh, I've done everything here. Gormok? Chase is on. Okay, I don't have enough blades with strength 40 plus. That's inconvenient. I should probably get Ursula back on this stuff. I want to look up what I need to, how far I need to take it though. Tantal, Allies of Justice. Okay. It says that I can do this one. Alright, my board game got stolen. I wonder if someone could get it back for me. It requires Godfrey to play. Alright, well Godfrey's been just kinda of hanging around not doing anything lately. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay, so Agate satisfies both the strength requirement and the great X requirement. Don't worry. I'm great at support. Where are the other level 35 strength blades? Okay, Corset is strength 67. <laughs> My goodness. Who else is 30? Okay, Wolfric. Yes. Now I need another Great Axe. Do I have a Great Axe with Dark Mastery? Well, let's sort by Dark Mastery and see what we can find. Aha! No problem. And eh, I don't know who else. Salvaging mastery, huh? Let's send him. Got it. And Godfrey has to be the leader, so there we go. From today, we're the bravest of the brave. Follow me, everyone. Have fun, chaps. All right then. off some of that. Looks like that's all I can do right now, except for Ursula's stuff. I'll just wait for that one to get done. In the meantime, let's check out the sweet shop. So now there's apparently a few monsters I need to take care of in Letheria. So the information I found said between the cloudways. If I go here and then head backwards towards Rejet Harbor, I should find a place that has some of these things. Phew. That was a slog. Let us go. Is this the right way? Hmm. So is it back or is it forward? I'm not sure. Forward, apparently. All right, then.
so both um, was it Ursula yeah she wants them and also Praxis yeah Praxis wants a few of these also all right, so let's change my party around a bit. Okay. Engaging the enemy. Let's see what you got, Flame Rear! Happen to me. Judgment! Eagle Eye! Sure! We keep our way! You have the pleasure? Yup! Roger! Advance them! Great heat! Excellent! Dynamic Spark Sword! Well done! My turn! Ready to unleash the flame! The enemy's element is now in the black man! Swing! Judgment! We can turn this in our face. Blaze! Ha! Just give me the heads up. Okay, someone needs a level two. Just make use of it. My red buff is up for sale. It's time to shine. Yeah. He's toppled. And all right. Yeah. Now we got a chance to turn liking. the tables. We're on a roll now. The Zekinator is on fire. Okay, so far so good. Why does it look like it's sunlit up here? up ahead. It's not supposed to be sunlit down here. Engaging the enemy. Let's show Wait. everyone why they call you. Okay, Judgment. I guess that was a graphical glitch. Get back! May I have the pleasure? Roger! Expect no now. mercy from me! <laughs> My dead body! Yeah. Get out of it! Crisis! Oh, 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 wasn't it your right, Peck, last time? Get your story straight, shall I? <laughs> Engaging the enemy! My excitement is rising! Judgment! <laughs> Dynamic spark sword! <laughs> A Blast. golden opportunity! Roger. I know that I have... ...launch and... I never give less than my all! Uh, my turn. Turn. Enemy Enemy will be consumed! Jaguar Flash! Let us make use of it now! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Landed right on the... ...post. Oh, all will fail! Blaze! My dead body! You have hey, my sight! It didn't connect? Wild roar! Yes. Indeed! Our victory was inevitable, given the circumstances. What was that? Come on, stop wasting our time. Wow, now, Nia, that's kind of harsh. In my experience. Energy aubergines. That's one of the things I need for uh, Vess's dumplings. Squad! Hold your position! My excitement is Let us know if you need a hand, Mora! Judgment! Ah! May I have the pleasure? Ah! Roger! Stepping ah! in! Heat! Hey! There's a way we can win! It won't be that! I never give less than my you all! Have my back. Just give me the win! Practice. My sapphire! Unleash oh, 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 the blade! Meteor! Let's take them in one fell swift! Three. Blaze! This might work. Roger. Dagger. Good luck with that. Make this and retreat. Oh, 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 You've done well. The parts are good. How many is that 
for um, Praxis. This took a while. Four. Okay, so one more, and there happens to be one more right here. Let's end this with my excitement. Yeah, just get down with this by himself. Judgment. <laughs> Ursula's as well. Aha. Look, Barry, a cool new toy. I'll bash him good. Perform a blade combo. Normally, that'd be pretty easy. Against little small fry like this, I can, they don't last long enough for me to get into a blade combo. All right, so that takes care of all of that. Now then. Let me see. There's something in Gormot that's been available for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to it. It's in the relay base. Came a pretty long way, eh? Onwards! There he is. Ash. Ashy? Ashe? Who knows? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Gee, Zeke. You, not like you're a prince or anything. You can't say I'm in the mood for pleasantries. Something wrong. We send a vermin specialist with an armed escort to check on the wolf, but they are late coming back by days. The critters have attacked villagers and not upon traders, so we needed to look into population control methods. Two of the three guards were sent along with drivers. I didn't expect any issues when it came to combat, but, well... Wow, that sucks. We're stretched thin enough as is, so when two of our drivers go missing, well, you can imagine. Now the brass don't want to risk losing even more people if something were to happen to the rescue party. Allow us to assist. Would you really? I hate to ask such a dangerous job of strangers, or the Special Inquisitor, but, hmm, what's this? Oh, you've got blades too. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Many vault sightings have been made near Varnix's Plunge. That's where the researcher was headed. It's a big waterfall on the Titan's lower back. Got it. I hope the four are unharmed, and best of luck to you. Okay. So, upper level right. There it is, way up there. Okay, let's go to the Traveler's Resting Tree. Greatest of the brave, back in the house. Let us go. All friends return safely! Coincidental timing. It's proof that justice has been served. Thanks for getting it done. I felt something open up. Deep in... You can count on me. Gotta get his trust up for this. What about level five? Gotta get trust up for that too. Okay. I think.
think that's all of his Ally of Justice missions. I still want to grow you. I've still got room to improve. Alright. Kinda out of Merc missions. At least for now. And there's something I've actually been neglecting for a bit. A Geon's Core Crystal, yeah. Not quite ready for that. So let's fix that. Let's actually get ready for it. Let's go back to Tantal really quick. To Theoswar. Main gate. Since that's the only skip travel point in the town right now. That was a slog. Let us go. Let's see, somewhere around here is the inn. What was that again? Ah, well this is actually a convenient location. This is the back door that leaves Theoswar. The Theospiti Temple Ruins. See, it goes out of the city over there. thing is, we can't leave. Why can we not leave? Well... An invisible wall! I mean, come on, guys. Is this the best you could do? You could at least have put in an entire phalanx of guards who were all saying, you can't leave without his majesty's permission, or you know, something along those lines. But no, just a standard invisible wall. You talk about the lowest common denominator of game direction. But no matter. Fifilly, what do you have to say? Tantalese science has been passed down for generations, so our knowledge far surpasses the Ardanians. You are outlanders, if I'm not mistaken? Then I must not let myself sound as if we're blowing our own trumpets. Let me simply say that thanks to our extensive collection of records, we are able to address all manner of issues. Except for how to feed your people, apparently. Anyway, we need to talk to this person with Corvin and Zeke in our party. Something on your mind, madam? Well, worry no more. Corvin is at your service. Anything we can help you find ladies with? Goodness, far be it for me to pass up the opportunity to talk to a fine strapping young lad. Oh, you flatter me. Actually, I think she was talking about me there. You lie. Oh, please don't take offense. You're both very handsome young men. Regal is his majesty. All right, I forgive you. Anyhow, you seem deep in thought, madam. Is there any way we could help you? Oh, that's right. Perhaps there is. Perhaps there is. It's the monsters, you see. They're becoming a dreadful nuisance of late. I fear it's only a matter of time before some poor soul is attacked when they're out foraging for supplies. Well, if it's monster slaying you're after, look no further. You're a real show stealer, aren't you, Corvy old chum? Just be wary of the old dame. I'm not sure if you know what you've let yourself in for. Haha, <laughs> well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, alright? Oh, it's so sweet of you to help, boys. I wonder if you could help get rid of some grad gogol around the Genbu Drifts area. Getting rid of some Vint Griffox would be lovely too while you're at it. They could handle that bland Upa situation as well, couldn't they? And don't forget the Arno Capiba. They're getting very out of hand. Um, can I ask something as well? Fire away, little buddy. Okay, could you finish off some Klim Anlude for us, please? 
broom icicles. We need some fresh broom icicles. I'd love it if you could bring back some emerald snow. Oh, would you? Ha <laughs> ha, totally. Your wishes are my command. That's very kind of you, dear. I hope you know your own limits, though. I wouldn't want you to get yourself hurt. Thanks for the warning, Zeke boy. They really dished him out. Told you so. Still, it's not like I could turn down any of their requests. Not when it's stuff we do so well. All right, so that revealed Corvin's affinity conditions for level four. And also earned him both ancient wisdom and light mastery. Can't neglect my studies either. But it was the conditions for level four that were most important. Now that I know what they are, I can just start sending him off on Merc missions, and these will fill in automatically. And, if I go back to Morardane, now that I've got level 4 Light Affinity, level 4 Light Mastery, pardon, if I go back to Morardane, to Hardhay Palace, and talk to this guy, I can reveal all of his level 5 conditions. And then I just start sending him away on Merc missions, and that'll fill everything in for me. And then I can bring out Aegean and put Aegean in his place while I send him away on Merc missions. You know, once I get more Merc missions to send him on, that is. Okay. And now, Emperor, Empire of Moradain, Harte Palace, and the gate. Keep a close eye out for trouble. Where do we go from here? Well, Bridget, to answer your question, we talk to this fella. Eighth Decade Sergeant. Tell us all of your problems. We're here to help. Well met, Special Inquisitor and companions. You're familiar with the Chansaw Wastes? Naturally. Some aggressive monsters have settled down there in recent months. Our men are struggling to keep them in check. Sounds rough. You want us to pay them a visit and sort things out? Well, no, that was never our intention. But if you're offering, we wouldn't say no to your support. Right on. Corvin, a word... Sorry, Morag, I know I'm overstepping. But we can't just let this rest, can we? I suppose, and yet... The wastes are an unhospitable place. Only the most seasoned of drivers are fit to set foot there. Very well, we will be glad to assist you. Really? That's wonderful news. Then as Sergeant of the Eighth Decade, I would enlist your help to dispatch Organal Griffox in the Chansaw Wastes. Sergeant of the First Decade here, humbly requesting that you subjugate Berserker Mammut too, ma'am. Uh. Come on, keep him coming. Alright then, on behalf of the Seventh Decade, I would entreat you to defeat the Tempest Terex. The Sarabashi Ropal are proving a handful as well. The Third Decade would appreciate it if you could control them. And the Grossa Aspar, add the Grossa Aspar to your list too. Ninth Decade Orders. What about the Fifth Decade's Gathering Mission? Ah, that's right. We still haven't got round to that. Think you could pick up some Nitro Tuluit. Nitro Tuluit? I'm, I gotta be mispronouncing that. Nitro Tuluit while you're out on your hunt? If you're getting those, might as well assist the second decade with the Sand Salmon Collection, if it's no trouble. I fear my country lacks a sense of discretion. So the fourth and sixth decades are the only ones capable of doing their jobs, huh? Marvelous. Uh, we haven't overburdened you, have we? Not at all. We'll have it done in a flash. Oh, that would be grand. You have some exceptional blaze, Special Inquisitor. Of course, it's to be expected for someone of your station. Exceptional? Yes, he is exceptional, all right. Ooh. Nice backhand there, Morag. <laughs> okay, so I've got all of his affinity conditions revealed. How 
powers of light grow? I've already got quite a bit of this. And quite a few of these, too. Yeah, but I can't do any of these until I get the lower level conditions done. Well, now that I have all that done, I think it's time to set Corvin aside because he's a really powerful blade. And honestly, I don't want it to be too easy. Although now that I actually say that, I do notice that I still have Florin equipped and he's a healer blade. And Morag isn't really the greatest healer. Hmm. No, no, I'm going to set Corbin aside. Ajeon, time for you to come back out. I to admit, I'm not a big fan of his design, because he looks like a common blade, at least on his face. Hello there. All right. What I really would like is a shield hammer. There's a few different rare shield hammers that I could put on Morag. And there's one in particular that I'd really like to have. And in fact, every time I've done a whole bunch of common core crystals, I saw that particular shield hammer blade in a lot of the silhouettes that popped up, but it was always the first or second silhouette. And it's the third one that's important. Uh. Well, it'll happen eventually. Probably what I'm going to do is between this and the next episode, I'm going to do a whole bunch of core crystals and hope that I get lucky. And if I do get lucky, I'll show you guys the lucky draw. But not right now. That's a bit too tedious. Stalk. I remember this fellow. This is the unfortunate guy whose uh, wife was murdered. Ah, just the faces I was hoping to see. A report has come in from one of our men on an intelligence mission. Specifically, information regarding those accursed anti-imperialists who took the life of my wife. Let's hear the juicy details. It seems they're an organized anti-imperialist alliance calling themselves Brianak. Oh, that's a familiar name. We just encountered a few of them. And the members of Brianak will soon be conducting a secret assembly. The place is mine number two. Ugh, excuse me. <clears throat> right under the nose of the Imperial capital. Sounds like something's wrong. What do you think, Pandora? Yeah, we should find out more. Of course, the ideal plan would be to bring this to the Senate and take military action against Brianak. But if someone were to obstruct such official action, just like with my wife, in the worst case scenario, they might even target my son. The mere thought of it terrifies me. Yeah, we'll help you out. I can't express how grateful I am to hear that. If you will look into this for me, I can concentrate on ensuring my family's safety. 
Leave it to the Zekinator. So just to review the details, I need you to go to mine number two. There should be only a few key members of Brianak present for the assembly, but do be careful. Right, we were just there, in fact. And now we get to go back. And Zeke, get done with your stretches there. Okay, perfect. So, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. I could just skip travel straight there. But that seems kind of... Anticlimactic. Let's move in from a distance. And we're you. At least that, that blasted sandstorm is gone. And fabulous Mario Kart music. Now let's see. Maybe agriculture is Poppy's specialist field. And I now just remembered that I need the to give really calms your spirit. Aegean a courtship. I kind of forgot to do that. Fortunately, I have lots of courtships. Let's see. That lowers his block rate unacceptably. I guess I could give him the Braconite ship slightly better block rate but honestly if I just sacrifice 2% I can get him a much better attack power and really that's pretty important you know a tank blade needs to have the ability to cause a lot of damage that's how they hold aggro So let's leave him with the 20% block rate and give him that crazy auto attack. Oh, wow. I would like to increase her attack rate, but not by nerfing her block rate that much. What chip does she have? I must not have any more of them. Man, losing 20% block rate would give her 150, almost 160 extra attack. That is tempting. But no, I'll leave her as she is. What accessories do I have? Oh, wait, I only have one accessory equipped? Well, can't have that, can we? Okay, it's alphabetical, please. I need to sell this. Okay, where was that? Steam belt. There we go. Rex and Tora, huh? Well, they're both out of the party right now, so... Yeah, that should do it. And I'd better check on Zeke here. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. Alright, let's give him the eye patch. No, I take it back. Since he's not the character I'm controlling, the eye patch isn't going to help him very much. I ought to give the eye patch to Morag and then give him the steam belt. Although it's kind of weird to have Morag with an eye patch. 
Although you can only see one of her eyes as it is. So sure, why not? Alright, that should give her a good amount of damage. Which will allow her tank blades to hold aggro that much better. And ox cores! I completely now forgot about so ox cores on the Aegean. The really calms your spirit. Alright, what ox cores did I put on Corvin? Where is Corvin, in fact? There he is. Agro Boost 2, Element Orb Prioritizer. Hmm. Outdoor Attack Up 1. Element Orb Prioritizer and Outdoor Attack Up 1. I'll give those to a GM. I think he has two Ox Core slots. Yeah, he does. Okay. Element Orb Prioritizer. And outdoor. Out. No, come on. Move over. There we go. Outdoor attack up one. Since we're outdoors right now. So, yeah, he does more damage. And then Morag does more damage with the eye patch and those whip attachments. So, just having her set up to do lots of damage should allow her to hold aggro. Level 20, guys. You are kidding me. This is going to be a joke. I can't target these guys. Okay. Have to get into a cutscene first. Master Akatsuki, these people are... Ah, the ones who interfered with our recent operation. What? Well, everyone, it seems the Empire has sent warriors to deal with us. Let us show them the Brianak will not be so easily felled. Um, you guys are level 20. We're about level 50 right now. You are going to die horribly and swiftly. Very well. Look at that, he's already gone. Huh. Well, that was easy. Believe me, you haven't won yet. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a cutscene, so... Yeah, it's credible. Hmm, this is more level 20 guys, I assume. That's what this is. Let's see how much more of this you can handle. As you wish, dude. I could have done this a long time ago. Very well. Okay, Jump about level thirty. Slightly better. What is that big explosion thing? It's not getting in my eyes, I can't see it. Come on, let me get that low predicament. Take it easy, Mr. Tiger. Gian, do your special, please. 
Good job. Day. Well done. Awesome. Electrolysis topple. Electrolysis topple. Lord, You're tough, I'll give you that. We are like 15 to 20 levels above you guys. <laughs> All in a day's work. But are you sure you have time to be wasting around here? What about the fellow who sent you here, hmm? Do you think he's alright? What? Ha ha ha, got your attention now, have I? Well, if you'd like to go and check up on him, don't let us stop you. We of Brianak will be happy to wait. He he he, run along now, my dears. Ugh. Return to Senator Stolk at Hardhay Palace of Noradain. Alright then. Well, the Gian came in handy already. We've arrived. Where do we go from here? And even though he has a different weapon than he technically has a different weapon than Corvin. It's still a type of katana. So they have the exact same moves. You okay? You were worried about me? No, I can't say I've run into any trouble in particular. So here's the thing, yeah? What? You were attacked by a huge force of soldiers, and they threatened that harm would come to me as well. Well, they haven't tried anything yet, and I can't imagine they could get close as long as I stay in the palace. I've brought my son to the palace as well, just to be safe. I even have guards watching over him. Well, that's good. Probably a smart move under the circumstances. What worries me is that the enemy was gathered in far greater numbers than my information suggested. Okay, tell us more. Was the information that it would be a small gathering simply mistaken, or were they expecting us? That blade named Akatsuki, who seems to be giving the orders, he may be a more formidable foe than I had feared. Whatever the reason, I must apologize for sending you into such danger. No, oh, don't you worry, it's our job. I actually just received new information about where the Brianak leaders are headed. The word leaders makes me suspect that Akatsuki's driver may be involved. This may be an opportunity to neutralize Akatsuki once and for all, but it may also be another trap. Thank you so much for all your help. As for where to find these leaders, one of them, a man named Wiggins, should be on the roof of a building in Avil shopping district. On the roof of the old industrial district, you should find a man named Bianc. And finally, there's Arod. He should be near the large tank by the cargo transportation zone. If my intelligence is correct, these three Brianak leaders will be conducting covert transactions at those locations. Understood. Please do be careful. Thanks. Okay. So now I have three sub-quests here. Head to the roof of Avil's shopping district. Okay. Alba Kavanich. Avil shopping district roof. Have a skip travel point right there. And where you? Let us go. Yeah, but 
go where exactly? Is that an Ardanian soldier or a Brianac soldier? Ah, there they are. How do I get in there? Oh, is this the way in? Oh, here it is. Yep, that's them. What about that civilian guy over there? Is he part of this or is he just background flavor? You're the ones who ruined our plans, aren't you? What are you doing here? If you're siding with the Empire, we'll show no mercy. Okay, granted it's nighttime, so kind of dark out. But they don't realize that they are face to face with Special Inquisitor Morag herself. Get him! Very well. Shall we Wiggins is defeated, but he wasn't the driver of Akatsuki. Our victory was inevitable, given the circumstances. What was that? Come on, stop wasting our time. Okay, so Praxis got an up an upgrade. This took a while. Really? Because it seems to me you got it fairly quickly, actually. Okay, so for level one she needs blade combos, but for all the rest of them she needs driver combos. And she wants to defeat lots of insect monsters. First in Etheria, and then in Tantal. Okay, well. Actually, let's activate one of the other quests first. Bianc and Arode. Boy, I was going to do this one, looking for those lost researchers, and got completely sidetracked. Wow. Okay, well, anyway, a road. Cargo transportation zone, okay then. So I think that would be upper level? No, apparently not. Lower level, but. Yeah, there it is. Mm. 
Looks like the Anangum dock is the closest location. Alright, let's go there. We've arrived. Where do we go from here? Oh, that side quest. Two tour. I don't want to get distracted again. <laughs> Let's take care of this thing first. I could have sworn. Maybe agriculture is Poppy's specialist field. So, the fella I'm trying to find ought to be over there. Yep, there they are. Ah, this is... The beast form blaze driver. You won't find him here. He lets his blade Oski relay all his orders. Never shows his own face. His orders always produce results, but I suppose he made a mistake this time letting you go. No matter though, I'll clean up the mess he left behind. Um, no you won't. <laughs> he didn't make a mistake so much as not have much choice in the matter. We've been discovered. You're done! Get back! Free him! Great judgment! Pass the Pass the In our Pass the Good luck, Bring her up! Your luck would have a taste Show up for a The is on fire. That was pretty easy. We had barely the time to display our skills. Done and dusted. Next! Alright then. Now, defeat Bianc. So where's this guy? Looks like he's in the old industrial area. that no not the factory yeah the upper level right here it would appear let's go onwards there's the uh, pteranodon Where are these guys? So, up oh, there's one. I really don't want to aggro the... that thing. That Damatsky. I never did like the guy acting all high and mighty even though he's just a blade. And now he's letting miscreants get away so we can clean them up instead? What the? That does it. After I get rid of you guys, I'm taking him down next. <laughs> We've been discovered. Oh dear. Young Dynamic I really don't Young want to aggro that thing. Yep, Roger. Get out of here! Yes, no mercy from me! 
<laughs> the way those sound effects and the graphical effects just keep just keep on looping there that's kind of funny <laughs> we had barely the time to display our skills I could have taken them all on Okay, it keeps on sending me back to the main quest. Alright, let's return to Hardhay Palace and talk to the Senator again. No, not the dock. Let's go! Onwards! I can never remember which direction I need to go. Emperor Nile has returned safely. However, I'm quite concerned about the fact that he's lost his faithful blade Aegean. It's doubly harder without the counsel of his wise sister, but duty to one's country must come before even family. As the Imperial Guard, we must work doubly hard to ensure His Majesty's safety in these trying times. Well, don't worry too much about Aegean. He's okay. It's good to see you're safe. How did the mission go? Well, here's the thing. So, Akatsuki's driver wasn't among the Brianak leaders. No, there's no need for you to worry yourself any longer. Oh, really? I think it's time we withdrew from this whole business. What the? One of my subordinates who was gathering intelligence for me has been attacked. It may only be a matter of time before they come after me or my son. But now that we've taken out the leaders, Brianak's schemes will fall apart sooner or later. Ah, oh, you're still worried about Akatsuki. But it would be far too dangerous to pursue this any further. No, it's... It wouldn't. It'd be dangerous not to take them down at this point. Is this guy legitimately worried, or is he actually in on it with them? Alright, but if you're going to keep investigating, you'll have to do so alone. I can't provide you with any more intelligence than Akatsuki or his driver. You'll have to find them by yourselves. Okay, then. I'm sorry, but when I think of my son, this is the only choice I can... Yeah, don't worry. Thank you for doing this. Okay, a Merc mission. Well then, we can handle that. Okay, find Akatsuki. What did the description say again? We couldn't get any help from Stolk. Let's look for clues as to Akatsuki's whereabouts ourselves. Okay. Two humanoids, two animals. Fortitude, info collector, and ex expeditionist. Fortitude. There's fortitude in here. Yeah, I knew that Corset would have it. Okay, and then info collector. I hit the B button. Ah. Okay. Let's see if I can light a fire under their butts. I'll apply you myself okay. fully. Understood. All right. And now let's send. Boreas? You need my help? And sure, let's go ahead and send Corbin. Gotcha. She'll be fine. I believe I've never had 
Corbin even off on a mark mission, let alone leading them. Let's have him do it. A squad mate. Hmm. Perhaps you're good, because we're always crapping good time. Crapping <laughs> good returns. Have fun, chaps. Well, he's not taking this very seriously, but eh, as long as he gets the job done, who cares? Back in 13 minutes, huh? What can I kill that time on? Hmm. What can I kill that time on? Let's see. Okay, I still have my full blade squad on. Well, let's go back to Gormot and see about at least getting started on that other mission that I completely forgot about. Go to the way tree. It's kind of in the middle of everywhere. So really, it ought to be a bit closer to where I need to go. Phew. That was a slog. Let us go. Okay. So if I go back to this one. This away. Boy, the frame rate's taking a serious hit. Are these guys going to be aggressive? They shouldn't be, considering how much higher level I am. Going so slow. What? Where'd you come from? Weird dogs. A new locale. I've gained a new memory. Oh, that's interesting. Darkness, heed me. It is good to dwell on the past from time to time. Hmm. I don't believe I need to go down there. Ah, uh, this looks like what I'm looking for. Uh-oh, dead Imperial soldiers. The researcher is unaccounted for. There's a chance they got away. Dead. Are those bite marks? There, tracks on the ground. Very well. This is easy for me. Patience is really? my strong suit. Iron heart beats in Come Poppy's in. chest. We should see where they lead us. Okay. I was getting the feeling that her arts were recharging pretty slow. Oh well, no, she has a good item. Hmm. Do I have a pouch expansion? No, I do not. Okay, I'll give her the next one when I find one. Let's see, in the meantime, now that I'm thinking about it... Aegean really likes these. Bridget said so back when we first arrived at Fonset Village. Thank you. I will be sure to treasure it. Wonderful. Some good will come of it yet. Ah, a Montecorn doll for my collection. Wow, fantastic! Wow, three characters who like art. but with a rather meh result. 
I mean, Affinity Gain isn't bad. It's just that Arps Recharge is more important. How am I doing for Narsipair Jelly? Not very good. I only have one left. Hmm. Okay, I really have to... Delicious. I'll have to write this down. Very beautiful. I will have to go buy more. Also, I'd like to go down there. See what I can find. But... Even the darkest night is followed by a dawn. Morning, all! I have to follow the footsteps. Or paw prints, I suppose? Oh, there we go. Dead wolves. A wolf carcass. But who was the assailant? Hmm, this is... There are more tracks here, larger than before. Very well. This is easy for me. Patience is really? my strong suit. Iron heart beats in kind Poppy's of. chest! We can follow them. Let's not tear. Did you want to join us, Mr. Tyrkin? No? Okay. Knock yourself out. Not like this. Like at all. Saros's bed. Ugh, okay. Huge footsteps. Saros. Vermin specialist. Eep. We will forge a path, and none shall stand in our way. Get back! Look out the enemy's attention! Here I go! Yes, step here. Happen to me. Judgment! Command me! Unleash your power! Unleash your power! Attack my sight in rising. rising! Okay, um... I didn't kill it. We may be in over our heads. Okay, I guess I did enough damage to queue up a cutscene. I better think this one through. This enemy's quite strong. It's level 90. Yeah, let's get out of here. Awesome. Report back to Ash Torgoth Relay Base in Gorma. Okay. But first, not characters, skip travel. Let's go refill on Sweeties. Log. Let us go. Okay. 
more fruity rice balls, more Narsa pear jellies, more sparkle sugars. That ought to do. And then... Raya, Fonsamima. Let's see, what's the closest skip travel point to the sweet shop? Well, the playhouse isn't too far away. You came a pretty long way, eh? Onwards! Wait a second, Noel. Oh, yes. That fellow who lived in Torgoth, who was Vess's driver. I see, so my father, he... Now that I'm married to an Orion, I don't get back to Torgoth often. But I think I'll go and have a look at the old house sooner or later. He must have entrusted those golden braces to you, because he knew he didn't have long left. Yeah, that's, you know, it was never stated outright, but it was implied pretty strongly that, you know, he was worried about his children and Vess after he was gone. He knew he didn't have a lot of time left and he wanted all that sorted out. So he found inheritance for his kids and a new driver for his blade. a pair of jelly with you please delicious I'll have to write this down very beautiful okay and now back to Gormont Torgoth base entrance That was a slog. Let us go. All right, Ash. You've returned. What news of the research party? Uh, we have grim tidings, unfortunately. A rampaging Saros. I never knew creatures like that lived in Gormont. So everyone's... I see. I'd... I'd like to go and pay my respects, but... With that thing around, it might be too dangerous for me. Talk about a tricky situation. The rampaging Saros. Hmm. There's a scholar by the name of Tishk in the Berath Industry Ward of the Ardenian capital, Alva Kavanich. I vaguely remember him publishing a paper on the rampaging Saros. Maybe he'd know a good way to dispatch one. I see. I'm sorry, I know that's not a lot to go on. But I appreciate your continued help, my friend. Okay, speak with Tishk at Barak Industry back. Ward. Just thought I'd mention. All friends return safely! Corvin is sure a, uh. casual fellow. I think it was pretty much flawless. Poppy, initiate rest mode! We discovered that there's a hideout for the anti Ardanian organization Brianak near a bellyful canteen of the old factory. We should investigate. I'm happy to support you if need be. Do you know what I am capable of? Well, let's find out. Water Mastery Info Collector Mineralogy. Mineralogy is a good one. You can get all the way up to level 3. Okay, I'm getting relatively close to Merc level 4. Still have over a thousand points to go, but 
Oh, I've gotten most of the way there. I just need more Merc missions. And I also need more rare blades, because I got the one Merc mission where I need a bunch of blades with 40 strength. I think I have like two blades that have that much, if even that many. Okay, so, let's go back to Albacavanech. I don't know exactly where we're headed, so let's just go to Kadegi Gate. So now there's two things we need to deal with in Moradain. We need to go find this information about the Rampaging Saros. I out for trouble. And we need to where go, we go from here? take out that Brianak leader. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode because this one has gone on long enough. Viewers, thank you so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the next episode, we'll take care of those two goals, finding information on the Rampaging Saros and taking out that Brianic leader, and see about finishing both of those side quests. Then I think it'll probably be about time to head on back to Tantal and open things up there. So, chances are we'll get to that in the next episode as well. Okay, any more messages you want to give me, game? No, that's it? Alright, thank you. So, anyway, viewers, as I was saying, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.